Hello, Chris here. So this uh, is the hammer and shank for the crown upright. So after setting the sample from the original, the plexiglass line marks the original position. All right, got note 88 in there. And we'll let the glue dry. Uh, maybe right about there. Look at that rake. Pretty big angle there. Now I've got the jig set up to match the sample of the original. So I'm preparing a sample. Now with the jig set, now I can glue on the new hammer. So here's my hammer hanging jig that I'm dubbing the beast. Let me move this glue bottle. So see there's the beast. All those big timbers and the purpose of the timbers was to raise it up off the bench so that I can use this rack right here with this rack. Um, I can swing the action around all the way around really and work on any part of the upright action uh, comfortably so right now I've got the action in there and it's horizontal and I have the uh, hammer hanging jig set up and to hang hammers this way all you need is a bottom stop and a top stop and then uh, after the samples are set you run a straight edge from the end sample to the other end and then all the rest is just uh, installed in the jig now another thing about this jig that I've done that's a little different than what I've done in the past is I'm using this uh, story stick so I've got the uh, string locations marked on this stick so now the hammers Line up right with the story stick. That way, when all the glue dries and I pull this, put this back in the action, string it, it'll line up to the strings. Well, the hammers are all installed now. They look beautiful. All right, thanks for watching.